A few months after the events of The Last Jedi, Rey spent the next two months searching for allies to recruit into the Resistance that had now been severely depleted ever since the Battle of Krayt. While on her quest with BB-8, Rey crashes on an unidentified jungle moon. Once she landed her ship near a lake, Rey sensed a very powerful presence in the Force. After sensing this presence, she began to explore the jungle moon, crossing through various hilltops, forests, and bodies of water eventually coming across an abandoned campsite. In the distance, Rain noticed a massive ship that had crashed land on the grounds of the camp. She also noticed a very huge treehouse that was built like a hut, similar to what the Ewoks lived in. When Rey approached this treehouse, a mysterious and intimidating figure would jump out from the trees with a green lightsaber ignited in his hand. This figure is the legendary Jedi Master known as Kukruk. Kukruk had been in a deep sleep and it was Rey's powerful presence that alerted him before she landed on the moon. Seeing that the young girl poses no threat, the old Jedi Master and Rey would get acquainted. Rey informs Kakrook of everything that had happened in the last 25 years of galactic history, including everything that happened to her in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, as well as the status of the Resistance and the First Order. For the next month, Kukruk goes on to train Rey in the ways of the Force, to further improve her skills as well as with her lightsaber, who Kukruk noticed that belonged to Anakin Skywalker and Luke Skywalker, two Jedi who he had fought alongside with in their prime, during the Clone Wars and the New Republic. During their time together, Rey and Kukruk would go on various adventures on the jungle moon, as they trained daily, every morning and night. One day, while waking up early in the morning to practice lightsaber techniques, Kukruk told Rey the history of the Jedi Order during the Clone Wars and up until Luke Skywalker's Jedi Order, before it was destroyed by Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren. After a few weeks of training, Kukruk challenged Rey to a sparring session. After losing several times and getting knocked down to the ground, the Jedi Master would repeatedly say again every time Rey would fall down. It took many weeks before Rey could master his technique. They would also do heavy meditation sessions to further improve Rey's senses. Kukruk's lessons with Rey are similar to the lessons that Bendu had with Kane and Jarrus. Rey leaves the jungle moon after sufficient repairs to her ship had been made. Kukruk had decided to stay. The Jedi Master would watch her fly away as he would hope that his training sessions and lessons will help the young girl in the future. If you enjoy fan and lore videos like this one, then please do click the like and subscribe for more. You may also check the description down below for submission details. Also, since fandom material isn't official Star Wars canon, characters and stories are all subject to change in future updates. That'll be all, and may the Force be with you.